If you ever get sick and tired of serious sim racing, like I do, sometimes you just need to unwind and play a less serious racing game. But there's a problem. You're a sim racer. You can't have fun with chase cam and a controller. That's not you. So I searched for you and tried four less serious racing games that you, a sim racer, might enjoy playing with a wheel in cockpit cam. Dirt 3. Now this is probably the first game that popped into my head when I started to research this video. Because I used to play this game a lot. With a controller and chase cam. I'm sorry guys, that's not me anymore. I've moved on with my life. Dirt 3 was released in an interesting time, in 2011, before the release of the first Dirt Rally. So my hope is that this is a bit more on the realistic side than its successors, because there was no dedicated Sim Rally titles from Codemasters yet. All right, we made it into Dirt 3. And this is the first test I'm actually going to do, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but... Oh, this game's really dark. All right, there we Go, go. All right. Your fans will go nuts when they see that. Let's post it on YouTube. Right. This was this era where, I mean, Forza Horizon still does this, but <laughs> it's about a following you create and not about the racing. A bit weird. Let's post it on YouTube. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Still not sure about this. The graphics look really dark. And we're in Kenya. And I was expecting some vibrancy to to everything, but it still feels like I'm in Breaking Bad or something. I don't know. I do think it's cool that there are multiple cars on the stage. That's a nice detail. <laughs> so we we won. And the president of the FIA got 7th. Alright, so first impressions are... It's a, just a bit weird. It doesn't feel to me like this game has aged. In a way other rally games have. Take Richard Burns Rally for example. But this game does have something that was really cool in that era. Which is Gymkhana. I still need to unlock it, but we can at least do the donut tutorial. <laughs> what? What am I even doing? Ah, there's all these menus. Why? Does this racing game need a reputation? Oh, this is such a weird concept. Christian and Ken tell me you handled the Everybody knows like the racing. Great. Let's see what you can do. For the final event of the season, I've entered you into a competitive Gymkhana event. What a killer way to wrap up your first season. You're totally ready to tear it up. This is going to be off the hook. You'll need to finish in the top three in order to qualify for the next season. Don't let me down. 
why why I, I just don't understand why these games need reputation like what's it even for everybody knows in the racing world that all that matters is money <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you're really passionate about triangles, because there's a lot of triangles in this game, and if you have over maybe a thousand TikTok followers and really care about your reputation on there, this might be the game for you. In all other cases, just <laughs> please avoid this and try V Rally 4 instead if you're looking into an arcade fun rally style game. You'll enjoy that much more, I'm 100% sure. Test Drive Unlimited. In all honesty, I've never played this game before, but it has a cockpit view with accurate interiors, so as a sim racer, you might get away with playing this game. It was pretty popular when it was released back in 2006, reviews were decent enough, and I'm just very curious to see how this game has aged. Alright, test drive unlimited. Let's see, let's uh, see if the, the wheel works. Uh, that's the first uh, first thing. Let's go, it's a board guy. I love his mullet as well. Welcome to Hawaii. Before you start, you will have to rent a car. Alright. <laughs> what a wagon. Ah, there's a can... Pontiac. Ah, there can only be one, right? There can only be one, we all know it. Uh, let me just start this. One eternity later. There we go. That's our spot. You have reached your destination. Yes, yes, please. Right, so we got forty grand left. That's sick. Yes. Buy it. If only real life was this easy. <laughs> Alright, this is our first car. We bought the Alfa Romeo GT. Your destination is two miles away. Turn right. Oh! Why? What's going on? I didn't do anything. I stopped. There was a crash and I... <laughs> Alright. That's a lot of smoke. Come on, Jules. Jules is off. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just crashed out of nowhere. Alright. There we go. Easy. This game... Your itinerary is being recalculated. It's a bit weird, but... <laughs> it's I don't hate it. I don't hate it. At all. I'm kind of... Ooh. Watch the road. Your destination is 1.5 miles away. I'm, I'm feeling a uh, a stream coming of uh, playing this game before the release of Solar Crown. Could be fun. I wasn't thinking I was gonna say that about this game. To be honest. The goal is to finish first. Who would have thought? All right, there we go. Race two. Seven checkpoints this time. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> A lot of smoke again. Looks like Sigourney is gone. At the next intersection, turn right. We got turns this time. Oh no! Turn right. Turn left. Come on. 
Yes. Alright, already a third. Alright. That's another victory. Irresistible. Irresistible car. There we go. We're a small collector. 20k for a race win. It's a lot of money. Is this race that long? Apparently is. Seven miles left. Well, we're here for a while. Right. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool that the car has in-car GPS. It's a nice touch. Other than that, this race is pretty lame. Also, the in-car sound of the GTR is a bit underwhelming, maybe. I don't show you guys my hair quite often. But I went to the hairdresser yesterday, so this was the time. Right. <coughs> oh, there's a. The, at the one you turn, I crash. Alright, so this is a long race. But we made it. So, I'm actually looking forward to stream this game when the new version Solar Crown gets closer. It's definitely a bit weird, physics are pretty much non-existent, and it does look like a mobile indie game from time to time. But somehow, I kinda want more, I want to collect more cars, and I'm curious to discover the whole island. Forza Horizon 5. I had to include a Forza Horizon game, so my first idea was to include Forza Horizon 2, because I love that map set in the southern France and the north of Italy, which is amazing, but also only released on Xbox, so I can play it. Next best thing, Forza Horizon 4, set in the British countryside with lovely seasons and somehow still very popular on Steam. But I couldn't map anything to my wheel, so here we are. Forza Horizon 5. So. Alright, let's see. I haven't adjusted anything yet. Where's force feedback? I don't have the cockpit view is quite nice actually. So far so good. Let's try a race. We'll stick to the current car, that's fine. It's a bit, a bit fast, but sure we can manage. That's really loose. Well, what did I what did I expect? Big save. So we're gonna get fourth. It's good enough for our first race in the wheel. I was quite presently surprised, to be honest. I'm confused. I expected this to be, well, not as good. Let's just move the camera so you can at least see what I'm seeing. 
Let's go with the this one. <laughs> Foxhole something. <laughs> That's I don't even know what car that is, but I just want to try it. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna finish last. It's fine. There we go. Or we drive to get a decent lunch. Not that decent apparently. This thing is quite overserved. <laughs> like we're actually gonna win a race. Yes, that's a nice car. I'm gonna drive that. Now this is cool. I don't know, it's just missing something for me. And it's very hard to put the finger on what. And I also don't really want to say that this car is not about passion for cars or... Because it's definitely a very complete game. With a lot of very, very cool cars in it. It just feels a bit hollow. But at the same time, I'm just enjoying driving the Renault Clio Williams. Just it doesn't have to be that complicated. I guess what I'm trying to say is this game does everything over the top and it doesn't need to do it. I would love to have a stock Renault Clio Williams race. I think that'd be the coolest thing in the game. I just can't. This game tries to entertain so much. Consistent XP flashing on the top of your screen. You drive well, XP flashing. You almost crash, XP flashing. You crash, XP flashing for literally anything. It's overwhelming and it's such a shame because the car selection is pretty amazing. The map, even though not my favorite, does the job. If it only would let me do the thing I love most, which is enjoy driving, I'd play it regularly. But like this, I just can't.
Wreckfest. So um, we loaded into Wreckfest, and in all honesty, I've driven this game quite a quite a lot with a controller. So I'm curious to see how the wheel's gonna hold up. So uh, load into a career race and see. Always the bangers as well. Good start. Nope, don't want to make any contact. to do that but that's fine do have some damage picked up it's hurting inside nice Oh, is it car wrecked? No yellow flags. Unrealistic. Another wreckage. Oh, we won. Nice. Um, that was fairly enjoyable, actually. <laughs> Physics feel well. Good. Not much activity online. We could try this semi clean. Race to win, not to wreck. No corner bomb, no wrong way, no camping. <laughs> People camp in this game? <laughs> this isn't Call of Duty, right? <laughs> it's like 11 in the morning now. I'm gonna come back tonight and try more races. What's this? This looks like a proper rally stage. What does it say? Russia rally, Russia finish. All right. Six minutes and twenty seconds. So well, obviously that wasn't <laughs> a great uh, time, but uh, this this feels good. I'm I'm gonna come back tonight, and I'm going to uh, see if I can find a decent lobby for some less wreckful racing, maybe. So apparently there are over 20 people in the server now. Somebody spinning? No. Gaining some positions. Oh, there's a crash. Oh, I just 
blindly followed it guy. Do another race. Oh, <laughs> this is fun. This is really good. The game that I expected to be a bit of a meme is actually the one that I enjoyed the most. I didn't do just one more race. I did like 20 over the whole weekend and all in this server where they actually try to drive cleanly. And this is the perfect game for me to relieve some stress. There's some decent clean fighting going on and I don't really care where I finish. There's no I rating or safety rating, everybody's just there to have a good time. If you're interested as well, hop into my Discord server, it's brand new, link down below, and we can do some breakfast together. Hope to see you there, have a great day.